What's up everybody? My name is Sean Hinton. I'm Nick Gilmore. We are Team Bit. Where every Tuesday and Thursday, you can check us out on our YouTube channel. We're getting back in the swing of things. And uh, we just played Star Fox Zero. And yeah. then now we're going to try out Star Fox Guard. <laughs> which is basically packaged in with the game. Unfortunately, I downloaded Star Fox Zero because I'm one of those guys that rather download the games and keep it a game on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. But they discounted it, so it was like 10 bucks or something like that. So oh, okay. Wait, so you got the disc of Star Fox Zero? No, I downloaded it. And downloaded then it, okay. They gave me a discounted price for Star Fox Guard. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, so does Star Fox Guard come with the physical disc? Yeah, so if you were going to buy oh, it at okay. retail, it should be packed in. Cool. So, okay. Anyway. Thought I'd give it, you know, we can give this one a shot. It's uh, it's kind of like a tower defense game. You ever played a tower defense game before? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, I think they're... The, one, the ones I know of that were really prominent was actually Warcraft 3. Like, when you can do, like, the the uh, map editor, people would make these awesome tower defense games where oh, you build they? these crazy <laughs> mazes and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... The whole point of tower defense is you basically, it's, it's strategy of you have these mobs that go to a certain point in your base. And if, you know, like let's say that 20 of them get into that area, you die or the uh -huh. game ends. So I think this is something similar where you're actually using the cameras to kill the guys that are going to be walking into the middle of your base. Yeah, yeah. You have and you got to prevent them yeah. from doing it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, it has an amiibo thing. You want to try to see what happens with the amiibo thing? Sure, why not? I don't, I don't know what. We're gonna. It's our first time doing it, so think you might help during the mission. Requesting backup. Okay. Oh. Call Star Fox team while you're on defense. So okay. today, see what happens. You can oh. engage compatible amiibo once a day. Once the team was on call, tap the R wing to send in the cavalry. Okay, so I don't know if it's saying to scan it now, but you can now. There you go. All right, all right. Hey. Okay, that was brilliant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, so now, so now, what happened on the gamepad? An R wing is displayed where the amiibo sign was. There's so, right. So you're not going to be able to see it, but whatever. Hey, what the hell? Um, <laughs> so now you can push that, like if it gets too high control, yeah, right? An emergency. So let's go and start. All right. Um, how do I? There you go. <laughs> I can't remember how to start. Okay. So the cool thing is, is obviously like there's two separate screens here, and on the touch screen there's multiple different cameras that you can <laughs> push to and you control, and then on the main screen is basically you get like an overview of there, there. what the cameras are viewing. A very, it's a little, we're, we're brand new at this, so it's a little confusing. Because the but I guess. I love how, like, the uh, the main, like, video screens is really choppy, like if it would be. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> you know, I thought that, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, Wait. camera 12. So what Nick's doing uh, right now is. Camera 12? He's, yeah. He's oh. jumping from camera to camera, because he sees robots in the it's view. Really, yeah. It, you get another one on nine. On nine? Yep. And three. Right, oh, hey. you got one on three. It's getting chaotic now. Where do you go? There it's he is. Dang, that dude's booking. He's like, he's on camera five. Camera five. Camera 12. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see what the hell. <laughs> How I, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> 11, 11, okay. Cam <laughs> no, 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 you're not getting away, bitch. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Oh, oh he's, he's still he's still yeah, oh, I got him in the face. You okay. shoot him one time and then he goes actually faster the oh, second this time. Guy think, oh he thought he was at Oh dang that guy almost got the core dude. That was a little that was kind of stressful. That was lucky. Yeah. So those are kind of things I like about tower defense because the the mobs just keep coming and coming. And there's a lot of strategy to it. So let's try one more. Yeah, and it's confusing to me because we don't I don't have like a grid like that on the game pad. It's like it's just some random number. Like, it looks like a mess, dude. Yeah. So I, I'm not really like if you say five, it's not easier for me to just like hit right. Five. Uh oh. What is this thing? 
<laughs> You're a frog too, dude. That's why Slippy is absolutely terrible. So we kind of explain a little bit what Star Fox is uh, in, in our Star Fox Zero Let's Play. But we were, what did we say we, they are? They're mercenaries? They're like mercenaries. Yeah, yeah. for hire or whatnot to, to beat bad guys. Star Fox McCloud is like one of the main characters. Oh. Obviously, he's a fox. Um, they got Falco, who's a bird. Peppy, who's the, the rabbit. And then they got this stupid frog named Slippy. Terrible. I call them Muppet Babies. That's really what they are. And they fly these like really cool ships and tanks and things of that nature. Yeah. Go check out the other video. It's pretty cool. Alright, so what do we got? And speaking of the other video, we kind of figured out how to get it to play... A little better. A little better like Star Fox 64. You just set the gamepad on your lap and tap Y to reorient it. And don't move the gamepad, just move the thumbstick, and it kind of behaves how it does in Star Fox 64. Not an exact fix, but it's pretty close. I was actually doing better. Um, what the heck is going on? I don't know. Okay, different <laughs> robo robot types. Combat class bots try to attack your tower. Okay. Destroy them all and finish the mission. Ch Chaos class bots. Alright. So they're probably going to cut off the cameras. Yeah. So you can't see through them. Ugh. Genius and... Yeah, that's... Who cares? Yeah, like a... Alright. Level 2. Let's commence level 2. Mechanical invaders. And you go up ranks, so I guess there's levels in this game. I don't know. So you have to be a specific level in order to Skill unlock level. the next one. Yeah, makes sense because like you're gonna do a lot of multitasking, obviously, and that's part of the stress part of the game. So, okay. all right, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. So you can adjust, yeah, like you said before, you can adjust the cameras before you start playing. That gives you a little bit of a tactical advantage. Yeah, so when you switch to them, it's a little easier to, uh... Oh, I guess you can't, like... I mean, it's not too uh, crazy, right? You can't move them around that much. Yeah, forget it. Just... <laughs> I mean, I could re literally fuck with you right now and say there's a bunch of guys on camera 10 and totally make you lose your train of thought. You can, yeah. Which because is it's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like Simon. It reminds me of like Simon. You can just... Three. Three, three, three. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even see the screen yet. I, just I can see it. how it can get really confusing though, too. All right, you got one on one. Bunch just spawn, uh, spawned on. Can I hit them from here? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Looks like you're clear so far. Like 50 of them are gonna show up right now. Oh, my. Uh... Okay. And remember, you have the R wing. Yeah, yeah. In case things get too crazy, 12. Oh, that dude's in here. Okay, get in here. Oh. Nice. Nice. There you go. Woo! I did better at that one. Yeah. That. <laughs> Dominated. Still one more. Okay. I think we're kind of getting the hang of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were, um, they didn't quite show this at E3. Uh, they actually skinned it Star Fox, but I, I, I believe Shigeru Miyamoto brought this demo, but it was like, I don't know exactly what it was, I think it was just a bunch of robots kind of similar to this. Um, obviously they, they just skinned it Star Fox, which is what they um, typically do. You know, oh, they, you're right, yeah, yeah. So, 
Can we skip this? There we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whoa, rank two. Almost three. Getting closer. Thanks, bro. Now, I wonder what the multiplayer is. Is it something where you battle each other? Oh, is there robots? Yeah, it looked like it. Oh. Maybe you play, you build maps? I don't know. Your buddy Ryuba gathers them all up. Yeah, we just been through this. Why, why are they telling us this? Yeah, what, what, I guess we could probably use the medals for something. Maybe to upgrade the cameras? Increase your rank and unlock lots of cool stuff. Access the rank tracker to confirm your rank or review upcoming unlockables. Alright, okay. Dangerous. Disruptors. Disruptors, yeah. Alright, let's give it a shot. Dangerous disruptors. <laughs> now, I think I, I was told that these ones will cause the camera to show like like a regular view where the robots are, you can't see them. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like on a loop, a play loop, where it's just like the screen without the, and the robots are passing by. Like if they're, yeah, oh, okay. so you gotta be a little cautious. I, I don't know if it's this level, but. <clears throat> I hope not. Oh wait, hey, look, the, um, there's like, are these the enemies? No, those are different cameras, right? No, I mean, look on the side. See, there's like... Oh, where they're spawning. Oh, Is that okay. Oh. Yeah. Really? Well, that makes this... sense. I don't know why they tell you, but okay. Whatever. Can I hit R to shoot? Oh, okay. Get out of here. It's a pretty simple game, though, right? I mean... Yeah. It looks like it's easy to learn, easy to play, but it will get complicated eventually. Because I can only imagine, like, if you were having all these robots on, like, six different cameras at once, you're probably going to go crazy. Oh, it's this rupture thing. Oh, dang. It's got some hit points on it. Oh, crap. He's in. He's in! What's that? What's that? Nine, 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 nine. Okay. So how much? How many hit points do you have? Like, I have no idea. Like, is there a health bar or something? Or is it like once it hits the the center, you're done? Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Four. Something's going on with four. There's a party happening. There's a party happening at four? Yeah. That's what it shows on the screen. Maybe you can look at it. I don't know. I'm ch <laughs> Well, you got you beat it. <laughs> what? Yeah. I didn't even beat them all. They're running away. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of easier when they're actually inside the grid. Yeah. Because you can see them on the, the map. Yeah. And they can easily just... Okay. Well, huh. you want to give one more a shot? Sure. Okay. Let's give one more. I'm going to call... It's a yeah. cool little, like, game for 10 bucks. I mean, or free with, uh, with the package version at retail. Well, it's necessarily not true, right? Because it's... Online, like when you download it from Nintendo eShop, Star Fox Zero is forty nine ninety nine, and then plus oh, you buy the game okay. and discount it, which it totals up to fifty nine ninety nine, which is basically yeah. the same thing. So. <laughs> okay, what's happening? It's singing. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Okay, it went into a little warp thing. Makes a lot of sense. Oh snap! All right, we got a new grid. Space Invaders grid. Aggressive interference. Let's be the last one. Yeah. Give this thing a I'm shot. I'm gonna call in the airstrike because I just want to see what happens. Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> What's my squad? Oh, is that like when we're? Oh, do we create squads? Like we uh. 
I we would, roll I together. Guess. Or, I don't know. Yeah. Try that out later. So far, this seems like it'd be pretty fun, right? Yeah, well, you know, I like it. Yeah. Okay, quick question about Star Fox Zero. Since we just finished playing Star Fox Zero, we're moving to this, so we're still in the. the we're realm, still trying to um, grasp the concept. Of grasping Star Fox. Okay, Star Fox Zero was. That's not online, right? You can't play online multiplayer? It didn't look like it, no. No. Oh. No. <laughs> it would be really difficult to play online multiplayer. Like, you mean like dogfighting? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a, version. Yeah, that so would have been a cool like, feature, I think. They should have probably did that. Um, but you know Nintendo. They didn't like the internet. I don't know what the deal is with the internet, but... Well, have you tried the Mitomo app yet? No. Oh, man, I'm having some fun with the Mitomo <laughs> app. Is it like Tama Tamagotchi Life? Or whatever? Yeah, but it's, it's like, like a, like... it's kind of like a social network kind of feature. Oh, so we'd be buddies? Yeah, you just, it's kind of like you, uh, you answer questions and then, um, you dress <laughs> your knee and... Oh, uh, I have to get it. I totally forgot about it. Because you sent me the text about it. Right. And I just forgot to do it. I, uh... That's my bad. Yeah, I like the app. It's actually pretty fun. I've recommended it to a lot of people. I wonder what other stuff's going to show up for, uh, on, you know, since Nintendo's doing some more mobile stuff. Well, they're definitely going to have their main IPs. I mean, I would imagine a platforming Mario game. Really? On the, on the... I, uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but... I'll be honest, I hate, um, I hate games on my iPhone. I don't like using a touchpad for buttons. It's just not... What about you? I hate it, but... Yeah, it's... I hate having my thumbs all over the screen and then you can't really see. You block your view of a lot of things. You don't feel the button pushes and stuff. That's what kind of bothers me. You know what I mean? Like, because you're just... Yeah. You're hitting a screen and... Something's going on at nine. Yeah, I got... I, uh, I got this weirdo at ten. So, oh, yeah. I think seven you can see them. There's something going on at seven, too. It's like a radar thing. I'm getting invaded like crazy. Anymore. Well, you're going to use the R-Wing, right? Oh yeah, let's use it right now. Wait, it's not here. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, man. It's it's not the. Uh... Oh no, way no. I don't think so. Ah, successful. The icon was not here. Ah, oh I, well. I... <laughs> well, that was Star Fox Guard. You can download it online for 15 bucks if you don't buy Star Fox Zero, $10 if you bought Star Fox Zero online, or it's packaged in with the game at retailers uh, for the Nintendo Wii U. Or just avoid Star Fox Zero and download this game yeah. for $15. Yeah, I, I think it's worth it. I actually I mean, enjoyed this. I think we had more fun with this than I did Star Fox yeah, Zero. It seemed oh, like it. I mean, it looked fun watching you play it. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're Team Bit. Go check us out on our YouTube channel, Tuesday and Thursdays. See you next time.